Yo, what's up everybody? Let's look at my ugly face for a second. Hey, how are you? So, today we're gonna film what's it like getting married here. There's big differences from America to Vietnam for getting married. I haven't gotten married yet, but I've gone to one wedding, so I kind of know what it entails. So yeah, join me for this one, and we're gonna do a walk around. There's lots of people here today, so good stuff to look at, and I'll explain the whole thing to you. Let me flip her around. Okay. All right. So there's a couple over here taking wedding photos right now. So wedding photos are, are big, just like anywhere in the world, I think. I think everyone does wedding photos. You can correct me if I'm wrong. Maybe there's some countries where wedding photos don't happen, but definitely really big thing here is wedding photos. They also hire like a drone crew. They hire a camera crew for the actual wedding itself. So the wedding split into like two parts. It's split into like, in the morning they have this thing where, I think that's the actual ceremony is in the morning. Again, if, if you have stuff to add, just leave it in the comments. Be constructive and don't be backhanded or I'll just delete it because I don't go for the narrative of pushing negativity in the comment section. It's just ridiculous. Um, anyways, so, yeah, in the morning, you go to the, which house was first, the bride or the groom? So you go to the, the family of the bride comes to the groom's house. They do a ceremony with the groom's parents. And that takes like, I don't know, an hour. And they do a bunch of stuff there. And then like all the closest come and kind of stand there as this happens. Then they also go to the bride's house and do the same thing again. And I think that is the actual like ceremony itself. It's very interesting, you know? And it's early in the morning. It's at like, I want to say nine. And yet everybody drives over in like a bus from one spot to the other to do this. Uh, I think I have footage of it still. I put up a wedding video so you can see like what it's like at the like after party, whatever they call that in America. I'm not knowledgeable on weddings all that much. I'm just explaining what I like saw. So if you're a foreigner and you're going to get married to a Viet girl, you need to have a paperwork from the embassy that says that you're not married in America. And that's pretty easy to get. So yeah, you go to each each person's house, you pay your respects essentially, they take a bunch of pictures, they sit down with the whole like mom, dad, grandma, I want to say too is there, grandma and grandpa if they're still around are also there, there's so many people here today, it's because it's Friday, it's all like college kids, maybe some high school kids too, I don't know, I can't tell those ages anymore because yeah, I don't fraternize with 18, with, with younger people, so, and I'm old now. <laughs> so it's difficult to tell the, the difference from ages now. There's a lot, a lot of people here. It looks like, Hello. Uh, it looks like a lot of high schoolers though. There's a pig over here. But yeah, it's a pretty interesting process. Xin Chao, It's a pretty interesting process. Um, and what they give for, there's no wedding gifts, you just leave money in an envelope, in a red envelope. So like, it can be profitable. Where You can at least break even or make a little profit here on a, a wedding, if you do it right. And have enough people come, and don't go crazy on the food, and count the tables right when you're doing the food. I'll get into detail about that as well. But uh... Where was I? I lost my position on where I was at. So yeah, you go, you, each one goes to the bride and grooms. We're gonna go up here and shoot a video next. I'm walking around this thing after I'm done shooting this one. So uh, after that process, there's like a break. Like what we did at, at uh, Wynn's, Wynn's house is 
uh, we did the morning thing, which took like two hours, and then went back to her parents' house, and I drank whiskey with her dad and like close family, and we got food and we ate. And then you go home. There's a big long break then. There's like a six or eight hour break till you go back to, oh, posing for the gram. Oh, let me go around this way. Don't want to get in their picture shot. Then there's a big break, and then you go put your fancy clothes on. Oh, they wear all the traditional, uh, traditional Viet wear during the first part in the morning. The Aodoi, I always fuck up how to say that. And then, uh, so does the guy, he dresses up in like old time, old school uh, Vietnamese like dress, dress, formal dress wear. It's really interesting. I think I have footage of the beforehand. I'm pretty sure I filmed everything. I don't know if I still have it though. Possible. Xin <laughs> chào. Hello. <laughs> they like to use hello. All the kids like try to practice their English. Which is nothing wrong with that. It's a good idea. They're starting to get better teachers for these kids. Like now, it used to be all Viet's taught these kids English. So like a Viet that's like in their 20s and older learned whatever English was taught in school from like a Viet that really didn't know English too well. So now they're getting much better. Like almost anyone under 20 knows like English here pretty fluently if they go to any kind of decent school. So what else can I discuss on this? Where was I at? So yeah, they, so then yeah, there's a long break, like a six hour. So like, we ended up going home after having drinks and lunch with uh, Ba and the uh, uh, Winnie's close family. Um, lots of pictures were taken. I, I think even more than at an American wedding. And then there's uh, the after thing. God, I can't remember the name of what we call it in America. Shit. Sometimes words escape me when I shoot a video. It's insane. Nice. But yeah, so like, the the big party afterwards, they rent like a hall, and then each table costs like, anywhere from like a million to, I wanna say five million. I'll correct that in the comments if anything I say is off. Because I'm doing this off the cusp of my head. So I don't know. Good job. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> um, so yeah, the, then the, the ceremony is like really fast. It's really mind blowing. Oh, she went down hard. Hope she's not hurt. Well, these things are dangerous, guys. If that was me, my hip would be out. <laughs> Over here, Spider-Man. What's up, Spider-Man? Hello, bro! <laughs> um, so yeah, the ceremony is really short. Not the ceremony, the after party thing where ours is usually really long in America. It's like an hour, right on the head here. They rent a hall. It's got a bunch of uh, tables everywhere, seats. You sit, you get a dinner. It's like a three or four course dinner, if I remember right. Um, after the three or four course dinner, there's like, they do singing and stuff like this as well. Like, Wynn's brother, like, practiced karaoke for like a year ahead of time and sung like a whole song to her. And, and then they did like a flash dance that they practiced for like six months as well. <laughs> it was crazy. There's footage of that if you go look back on the wedding video that I did a long time ago, maybe six months ago, eight months ago. It kept like all the music that they played, like YouTube wouldn't even let me put the video up. Like never mind demonetized, they wouldn't even let me put it up. So I had to just keep chopping it up. It, it was very annoying on that video because of YouTube's policies on music. But it's very, it's, it's, it's cool that the thing only lasts an hour at night. I was like, all right, this is legit. Maybe an hour and a half, but I wanna say it was like an hour. It was the food, it was singing the songs, flash dance, like big champagne toasts. And the whole time there's a drone flying around inside. There's like a drone guy like shooting drone footage. And then they make this crazy movie for you that you get at the end. But I think it, you, it, it costs anywhere from like 10 to 20 grand. I mean, you could probably do it cheaper for like five grand for a smaller one. It's the food that really drives up the price from what I understood from what Winnie explained to me. But it's pretty cool that it doesn't take that long. Like, 
I've never been a fan of weddings in America because they take your entire day. Like, and this was just two hours in the morning and then like, let's even say two hours at night in case I'm off on the hour. But I felt like an hour, hour and a half to me. It was literally just food, a few flash dance songs. No, everybody's watching me film. <laughs> you gotta have balls when you become a YouTuber, by the way. For any aspiring YouTubers, you've just gotta shoot, 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 and shoot, and continue to shoot, and shoot more content, and shoot more content. And the better you'll get at using the camera, talking on camera, all the things that, yeah, that would be associated with that. Hey, little girl. She run fast. There's lots of young chicks here. It's insane. This must be like a high school or college kids. I don't know. They look high school to me, but somebody in the comments said they're, they're uh, college. They don't look college. I mean, it's possible. But they, they, La Pizza is getting slanked everywhere here. She's making one right now. She's really... <laughs> Not just tell me to leave. <laughs> it's because here they don't want to get filmed because they're technically not supposed to be here selling their their uh, their Jalot pizzas. I don't say the Viet word for it because yeah, I, I haven't studied Viet yet, guys. So once I do, it'll get better, and I'm gonna start making time to learn Vietnamese, and then I'll really clamp down on it. But like now that I'm shooting five to seven videos a day, it takes up my entire day. Like plus I have to go run, plus I have to go work out. I have to do like my body maintenance as well because I was getting a little chunky and I'm starting to reverse reverse time on that again. You know, I've been steadily dropping weight every week now. I think I'm down like 15 pounds overall, maybe 17. I don't use a scale, I can just, um, I've been fat and skinny so many times in my life, I can tell when, when I lose weight and when I gain weight. And, by the way, clothes fits and things fit easier and shirts aren't as tight as they were. Some some old hotties. Taken in the traditional Vietnamese hao doi, hao dai. I don't know how, to, I never say it right. Sorry, Vietnamese. <laughs> but yeah, overall the experience was great. I, I thoroughly enjoyed the, the wedding. It was super fun to see. Um, I'll try to put that video in this end of this video of of uh, my videos. Just taking photos for the gram. Instagram's starting to take off here. The government is threatening to take away Facebook if they don't censor more people on Facebook saying they don't like being in a communist country here. I don't think Facebook is gonna bend the knee. They already said no. And I don't think, it's their largest platform here so it wouldn't make much sense to get rid of their literal largest platform that they have here for social media. Facebook is the king here. I don't use it personally. I don't even have Facebook. I haven't used Facebook in like five, seven years. I don't even know how long. I, I reactivated it when I got here, but then it, it got locked me out and it was tied to my old phone number. I was just like, fuck it. I'll let it go. But yeah, there's, there's a couple right there. That's what brought this topic on today. I was just sitting here thinking of things to film and boom, I saw the, the couple getting the photos taken. But yeah, uh, you usually make back what you spend on the wedding as long as you don't go crazy. And if you've got like a lot of people, I wanna say three to 500 people came to Wynn's brother's wedding. Insane amount. I don't know three to 500 people in the entire world. There definitely won't be three to 500 people at our wedding. Maybe, I don't know. I think we're gonna do a smaller, smaller size one. But it's a really cool experience. It, it can be cheap or it can be expensive depending on how you know you go whatever route you decide to take on that so yeah i think that's all i can think of for adding in on this if you have additional shit to add just leave it in the comments and yeah i'm sure that i have quite a few friends here that are married that watch my channel that probably have more insight on on this so they'll gladly add it in the comments thanks for watching have a good day and peace out